Yeah, yeah. And then and the other thing you said was um, about, you know, the um, the central bankers and the Rothschilds and the Freemasons and Illuminati and all that. Um, and, and, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting when people focus on that because um, I don't think that's even that important at all anymore. Because, really, for me, the ultimate question is, what, where is the origin of power? How are these people so powerful, right? And the way I see it is the vast majority of people who believe them to be legitimate give them power, right? And, you know, just like um, in the Game of Thrones, you know, I think um, uh, the, the guy was telling, uh, was it, uh, uh, what's the short guy in the Game of Thrones? I forget his name. Uh. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it's a, it's a, the one the, the wise man says. You know, when it comes to power, um, a short, uh, a small man can cast a very large shadow, right? Because it's not it's not really about you know it's not really about strength. It's not about being able to be you know being able to personally kill people. No, it's about people legitimately believing you are their rightful ruler. And if you can be, if you can have people believe that, you have great power. And and you know talking about your uh, government schooling, what is the origin of that belief? Is it, first of all, is parenting right? Being raised by your parents to believe that that's legitimate, and then schooling just enforces that even more powerfully, right? 15,000 hours of, of harsh indoctrination. And, and it definitely is indoctrination since, um, you know, it's like, it's like uh, you, want, you want to figure out what the agenda is for something, you know, figure out who's funding it, right? Uh, I think I mentioned this on, on, on your... Yeah, that's <laughs> right, right. Right, if you, you, got, uh, you got Coca-Cola funding the schools, what do you think they're going to... What do you think they're going to promote? Right. <laughs> so, so you yeah. know, it's a government school. So, what do you think they're going to promote? So, yeah, it's, it just only makes sense. Um, and and it's really it's really great. I love hearing people's um, journey to volunteerism because it's like you know, and, and that's amazing about your your mother. You know, she um, made that decision to separate herself from that community, even though it came at great cost of uh, maybe friendships. And um, you know, close bonds with other people that she's probably developed over years, but in the end, um, it it tells me that what she values is um, being logically consistent and her principles and being true to herself, right? And and it, she doesn't just value the community for community's sake. It's right. It's all about you know being being logical and being consistent, and um, and it and it reminds me of a. Um, a quote I love to to use by Emiliano Emiliano Zapata, a Mexican revolutionary, right? which says, uh, um, "I will die a slave of principles, not of men." Yep. <laughs> and I love, I love that. that. <laughs> I love that quote. You you said that recently on another one of your shows, oh, and, I I? Went and I went and I found a meme and I put it on some of my pages that said that guy. You know, and I looked into his history a little bit, uh -huh. and it's pretty interesting that he had some anarchist influences around him. Uh -huh. I don't I don't think he was like a completely non-statist guy, but very rebellious against the right. oppression of his people and and saw. A lot more of the problem that, than most. Awesome, and and I really like that quote too that, that you had brought <laughs> up. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, because yeah. it's true. I mean, and and that's where we should put principles first. Yeah. Those are first things. A principle is the first thing, right? So if you don't put first things first, you know, and and like he said, you, if you allow yourself to be a slave of men, then then yeah, you'll die a slave of men. But he was saying, you know, I'll put my principles before that and if that kills me at least I'll die a slave of those things and not you know a slave of other men dying at their hands right uh, I really do think that was a powerful quote it brings a lot more up into it than people really look into I think but yeah yeah and, it's, and, and it again speaks it speaks to self-governance and uh, you know choosing that you, you must um, be the number one ruler of yourself you know in terms of self-ownership and taking responsibility for your actions and the, and the consequences of your actions. And uh, so, yeah, very empowering.